Heavy rain caused flooding along 635 in Garland Road today. Stalled cars and created a bad backup. This stretch of road is part of an active construction zone. TxDOT says moving forward, uh, they plan to increase drainage inspections and maintenance. Yeah, I think we could change that from heavy <laughs> rain caused flooding. No, what caused flooding was, was the fact that the construction has everything bottled in and there's nowhere for the water to go. There's been construction on 635 since the beginning of time. It's Constant. crazy. I um, avoid that at like all yeah, costs. I do too. And I heard you got kind of downpour tonight. I had to get our colleagues to come help you. I did. I almost had to walk inside in the rain. Thank goodness that Carolyn Mungo was here to to save me. She brought an umbrella out. She's our vice president, mm -hmm. you know. She was teasing. It's our vice president of the station. Of course, she didn't come out to save me. I, I had to get the president to do that. But <laughs> I, I said, she goes, I would never do that. I said, I'm just making sure you're still watching. <laughs> so it, I had an interesting conversation with my mom this weekend, oh, okay. and, it, and it, it's led to me explaining to you tonight what happened. So my sure. mom said, and I know many of you have said the same thing, you know, I'll water my lawn and I'll do all of this. And then, you know, it just, it's not as, it doesn't turn as green as when I get just rain from the sky. So I have the answer tonight. I told mom, I said, you know what that's all about? And she said, I have no idea. She's the one who usually tells me the forecast. So she's like, did you know it's going to rain? I'm like, <laughs> I hope. So there's the rain we've had since Saturday night. Hillsboro, Meridian, look at the heavy rain to the south of the Metroplex. Cleburne's picked up an inch and a half. Love Fields only had uh, 42 hundredths of an inch, a little bit here in Fort Worth, three quarters of an inch in Denton, McKinney, uh, six tenths of an inch. So. Why does everything turn so green when we finally get a nice rain? So how does lightning fertilize your grass? Well, you have to think of it this way. Our atmosphere, right? It's made up of nitrogen. 78% of our atmosphere is made up of nitrogen. When we have lightning, okay, that's what really triggers all of this nitrogen or this fertilizer to fall to the ground. So nitrogen gas consists of two tightly bonded nitrogen atoms. The energy from the lightning, it splits the, uh, the uh, nitrogen apart and it leaves two separate atoms. And the nitrogen atoms fall from the air to the soil providing fertilizer. So the lightning strikes, it splits the atoms, boom. Next thing you know, we've got green grass. It's looking pretty nicely out there, right? For the, for the end of July, this is really, really nice for this time of year. A little bit of spotty rain still falling across the Metroplex. It's real light. The heavy stuff has come to an end. We've had zero severe weather today across the area. Watch this. There's midnight. We clear out to some degree. We dry out. Could there be a little bit of patchy fog in a few spots tomorrow morning? I can't rule that out. And as we uh, head through the day tomorrow, it'll be a partly sunny day. There's noon. Watch this. A little rain tomorrow? Not much. 10% coverage tomorrow. That's all I have. That's about it. A couple little spotty showers as we head through the afternoon. So my rain coverage through this weekend, very low tomorrow. 90% of us are dry tomorrow. 80% of us are dry Wednesday and Thursday. 70% of us are dry Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. But 10, 20, 30% of us will pick up rain during this time. Those areas that pick up rain, it's pretty light. The heavy stuff we had today, right now that is over unless you have a thunderstorm that just sits on top of you. Otherwise, just a little bit of spotty rain as we head through the next few days. 73 is a low tonight. During the day tomorrow, partly sunny, dry, mainly dry, muggy. 91 is the high tomorrow. The next seven days, beginning tomorrow, the normal high is 97. So for the next seven days will be cooler than normal. For the final seven days will be normal or even a tad above. And a couple of triple digit days in there, but as we end July, a couple of degrees warmer than normal and start August, three degrees, four degrees hotter than normal. That's pretty amazing considering the weather that we had last summer, the summer before, the summer before, the summer before, and the summer before. So I'll take this 14 day forecast any day. I'll tell you, we had fantastic weather on Saturday. We did. Night. It we was did. perfect. It, it was, was so much fun outside. Uh, with at Dale's house. Sorry that you weren't invited, but Jonah and I and all the other cool kids had a great time. And I, I will tell you, <laughs> next there, time there, there is something you missed, but the cameras were rolling. Oh, okay. Um, let's roll the tape. Here we go. Pit. Pete Dog is even a hot dog with mayonnaise on it. Yeah, there's something in Not here. Not bad. Out of, out of 10, what are we grading this? This is a solid seven. <laughs> you don't put mayonnaise. You don't put mayonnaise no. on a hot dog. No, you don't. <laughs>
Who puts mayonnaise on a hot dog? <laughs> I do, Hanson, and it's delicious. <laughs> That's we can, good. We That's can good. finally put a bow on this hot dog mayonnaise debate. Uh, I still have yet to do it, and I don't think that will be happening anytime soon. Was it actually <laughs> a 7 out of 10, or were you doing it for the camera? I prefer mustard, but it was, I do like mayonnaise, but it was, it was fine. It was edible. It was fine. Okay. Well, <laughs> mayo on hot dogs, way to go.